Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got another quick one for you today. We're going to show you how to test out a winch motor and make sure it runs. Um, in my case, what wound up happening was I had this winch. I don't know if you can see it in the screen or not, but I will see it here in just a second. Um, but this is a Harbor Freight 12,000 pound winch. It's what a Badlands, I think. Um, anyway, um, this was mounted to the front of my trailer and I use it to pull cars up on the trailer all the time and it worked great for that. So about a year ago, I really needed to use this winch. I was going to get some kind of car or something and the winch just quit working. I didn't have time to diagnose it and to be honest with you, I mean, I was a little bit ignorant of the way this system worked. This winch has sat long enough to where I really would like to get this thing either back in service or out of my way. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you how to test a winch motor without the control pack. So imagine if you, you know, if you go to somebody's house, if you're gonna buy a winch from them and you get there and it's just some piece of junk laying off in the yard, well, you don't know if it works or not. So what this video is gonna do is teach you how to test the motor to see if it's actually the motor that's burnt up or maybe it could be the wiring that's burnt up uh, from your control pack. Um, you'll just have to work your way back from what I'm going to show you in this video. This video is strictly to see if the motor runs. So, and let's jump in. I'll show you what I got. So what I have sitting over here is just a car battery. And you'll see it has just a pair of just cheap jumper cables hooked to it. And that's what I'm going to use to power this guy. What you're going to want to do is you're going to get your battery like I showed you. Um, get you a pair of jumper cables and find yourself a random piece of wire. This is 10 gauge and this is what I would recommend at minimum. Um, what I'm going to show you is strictly for testing the motor only. I would not ever recommend doing what I'm about to show you if you're actually putting the winch motor under a load, pulling something heavy, pulling yourself out of a ditch or whatever, pulling a car up on your trailer. Don't do this. This is strictly for testing the motor only. Okay, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if it's mounted to a winch plate, you're gonna to wanna to lift the winch up a little bit. I just loosened the bolts on the bottom and I've got a screwdriver jammed up under the motor to lift it up a little bit. That's so you can have clearance up under here because there's a ground terminal up under the bottom here that you have to get to. I've got the winch in neutral right now and that's just so I can just test the motor. Later on, if the motor checks out good, then we'll put it in gear just to see if the gearbox works. But let's uh, start with the basics first. So what you'll want to do is take your piece of wire and now you can, you can just uh, strip this wire long enough to wrap it all the way around. I didn't do that. I wasn't thinking quite, quite too far ahead, but luckily I've got the bolts here so I can just I can just clamp down on the wire. So let's do this right here. And we'll tighten that one up. Okay, so now you're linking these two terminals together. So what you'll need to do now is take your ground and you're gonna hook it up to the lug underneath the winch. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a ground terminal right here. Now, so we're just going to hook up our negative cable and then we've got the positive right here. Okay, so now we're ready to test it out. Um, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you got a good clamp on your ground lug down here. Um, this one doesn't seem to want to clamp very tightly, but um, I may have to just hold it there. Anyway. Um, now all you're going to want to do is just simply take your positive cable end and touch it to the motor just to see if it works. All right. The motor works. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to take this piece of wire right here and we're going to undo it from this side. And most likely, if the motor works one way, it's going to work the other. But hey, let's just try it and see. 
let's just make sure. So we're going to move this wire to this lug over here. Okay, there. Now we've linked these two lugs together. And now this one is empty. So clamp that on there. And now we're going to see if it works the other way, which I'm guessing it's probably going to since it worked one way. Yep. Okay, now, now that we know that the motor works, let's put it in gear and let's see if the gearbox works. And we're going to know that by if the drum starts turning, you'll see the cable start moving if, if the gearbox is good. And you so, guys just watch right here. Oh yeah, that's in. And we're going to put the wire back across there. And again, this is, this is one of those things to where it's most likely going to work. If it worked one way, it'll work the other way. I didn't hear anything weird with the, with the uh, gearbox. It'll work the other way. So here we go. And this one should feed out, hopefully. Ready? There we go. All right. Okay, so now we know the motor is good. We know the gearbox is good. That's awesome. So I know that it's either the wiring or it's the solenoid. Most likely it's the solenoid because usually wires don't go bad. They do, but usually they don't. So what I did was I went ahead and ordered a new solenoid. There we go. Now this one's a little bit different from the last one I wired up. Um, but if you want to know how to wire one of these up, check out the video that will be linked at the end of this video. It just explains how to wire up one of these winch solenoids. This procedure is for a series wound winch motor. Now the permanent magnet type winch motors, they only have two wires. So basically all you're doing with those is it's wired one way. If this is positive and this is negative, it'll run one way. And then you flip your switch the other way and it just reverses the terminals and makes the motor run the other way. The permanent magnet motors are a lot more simple than the series wound motors. But anyway, um, like I said, if you want to know how to wire this up, check out the video that's going to be linked right about here somewhere. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.